Oh, look, look at this. That is awesome. I can create all these particle effects. Very easy. Just go on your video, go a video like overlay so you can create all of this awesome, awesome particle effects. Look at that library. This is huge. Literally, it's a huge library. There you go. There even holes. Wow, you can do even that. And you know what? The best of all, it is free application. So you can download it and use it for free. That Boris effect acquire that applications and even more it's available for free for you to use with a huge library of emitters you can use it so how do you use it and where do you want to use those ones you can create overlays like screen overlays and i'll show you example later how you can use it but this is example right here look this is a video i created cyberpunk music cyberpunk city kind of music but look on this raindrops this is all overlays to create these motions to it like you see the puddles like right here we have it does on a puddles water going right there those are actually overlays that created inside the particle illusion and add it in so how say i will show you later how you can do this in the, uh, with the Camtasia but you can do with other editors but right now let's jump back to this particle illusion so right here we know why we want to use it we know where we can use it it's big but how to get it just right here I'll put a link for you go to the Boris effects par uh, products particle illusion has it will provide download it for free the other things it's also asked to register and I would recommend to do this you're not required but if you register you get a huge collection of additional particles uh, emitters that you can use it in your other work and speak about some of those particles you can see right here it's even glass you have it like explosions anyway you can do explosions you have it um additional effect text you know like overlays for example when i was created i'm going with overlays and i'm like oh i need download library but you need pay money or anything you can do for free those and best you can do them and sell them if you need it as overlays as well so we have tornadoes we have those flowers you can put it okay and of course we have it a rain so let's go ahead find a rain so we'll type in and we have it right here lighting oh there you go look on this we have pouring water and there we have it our rain and one thing what you said before look it's like on a puddle screening so how do you use this let's do that right here you have it your particles that you can search put it some and let's go we'll start with a rain okay next we want to place it so I'm going to properties and that's what I recommend for you to do first. Okay, it's going to the action. Let's go to view preferences. We're going to preferences and enable this click in stage to add emitter. Otherwise, you need just double time click. With clicking, you select the meter, you click on your stage where you create it, and it will add emitter there. So be sure this one is checked in. As well, you can set your default stage and in mine it's hd resolution it's mostly what i will do 30 frames per second hd however you have it all these presets that you can just select or drop down i think this is about all what you want to apply here you can look a little bit more and i will have it some more in details look on this um, applications how to use it right now it's just general overview so right here we select our rain we have it will go this is our stage by the way so i can go click and you notice it's placed it emitter. As it's placed the meter, we have it options. Okay, let me kind of scale a little bit so we can see. We have it all of these options on the middle. And we have it our emitter here. Also, you have a different type of view. So right now it's a default. You can press control. So this is our edit. And in some cases, edit is nice because we don't have a library of emitters when we're done placing, but we have access to our um node system we access to our frames and everything so in some cases that may be a little bit easy a little bit cleaner for you but if you add more you can always switch to different type of the view so you can have it create 
way we have it all of these emitters we can add additional and you can see it's a lot of stuff so we'll go over all of this a little bit later but now right now let me show you the simple how we can do and without even go too complex so right here we have an emitter i'm going to just stretch right here so it's covered full screen and we can just go over and you can see okay here's my rain going okay one thing sometimes you notice it does not start on frame zero so if we're going on the beginning select fast train frames to preload so right there i usually going about maybe five six maybe ten depend so i want to be sure all particles generated from first frames when i want to create it so this way we can rain create it down let's look what we have very simple very straightforward we have it our position our life how long it will last for the drops how many of them so we can create like very crazy amount of the rains okay or reduce make slightly and that's actually what i did it for the, that specific steampunk i create with kind of like very um gentle falling down okay so next we need to change i want to go them straight down i don't want the kind of wind to do this but we have a couple things so we have it nodes at fast rain but also we have the squares which is actually represent those drops we'll go inside those squares and we're going down to our angle with our angle right here emission range angle so emission angle we can actually change and you can see we can go like down to minus 90 so let's go ahead just type minus 90 degrees which is put them all the way below and there you go see how they're going down we can change the past the other stuff if you need it but for now if we just make this simple like this that will work we won't worry about colors and everything and like i said it is more to this application this can be very complex but at the same time it can be very very simple so you download for free you install it and you just adjust your settings and it's ready so now what we're rendering because we don't have it actually image behind this progress so we want to render out as the file and after we want to use this to render we can go to um, button on our side right here click on the render you can see red and it will open this prompt the things that you need to pay attention here it's where do you want to save so for example i will save in my folder overlay and i'll go down rain five because i would create some other ones okay what you want it is a prores you can use different compression this is kind of nice professional render resolution at this time even your stage is different you can still kind of adjusting like uh 8k 4k so it support all the latest one but i'm going with uh hd resolution for this we'll go progressive and this is another thing pay attention to channels so you have rgb or alpha the best part is because it will produce transparency for you if you need it you can have a two different channels one transparency one not for me i'm just going with rgb for now and frame rate 30 frames per second so i'm going with this however you can do like uh 24 frames or you can go even higher it's just to match whatever project you're working and when you're done you just click and start rendering right here you can see progressions of the rendering is going and uh should be done very fast depend on the, how many particles you have it or other things how complex it could take a little bit time but generally it's actually render quite a bit fast one thing keep it in mind what i'm rendering right now the how many frames you need set before so right here it's you can see full range from zero to 300 so i have a 300 frames 299 from zero frame okay that is done if you need to change your frames count you can just click on the frame size and modified from there as well you can go in project settings so but probably just clicking on the frame rates and change how many frames you want in here will be a little bit easy so right in here i have it 600 frames it depends how long you want for your project or when you want to create it the nice things because you don't necessarily can create rate you, uh, rain you can create the floating particles all of this whatever i'm using inside my videos as overlays i'm rendering in here and they're royalty free it's yours 
you can use it however you want it. You modify, you can make them very unique in the way you want it. Okay, so the easy use them is just important uh, whatever applications you're using. For example, this is just Camtasia. And I have right here one image. So I'm going to put image, leave it stretch in. You know, um, let's make it a little bit closer. And this is just, I don't know, let's look okay image. And you can see it's it, motionless, so it's no animations, nothing, it's just still image. If we just take this drawn down rain and put it in here, well, let me 300 frames, I just want to be sure it's the same. Um, also notice my project is not, it's kind of a little bit wrong, so I will need to crop my project a little bit better. So let's go ahead and in a project we're going properties and I just want to one nine two zero so we'll just have it full frame on this case and at this point actually let me take this image that created because it's a little bit two by three not the 16 by nine which is okay I'm just going right here okay now we have our rain and rain also just stretch out because it was matching different now we'll look good we'll go inside our fx with our animation okay we need to go into more or actually what i want to do i want to go and shrink this down right here so we have it visual effects we go to blending mode and just put it blending mode on our rain and be sure it's set to the screen. So what screen does, if it's 100% black, it's invisible. When white, it's visible. And look what's happening. Perfect, now we have it, our rain created for us. Okay, we actually can take at this point opacity, just take a little bit down, slightly like this, or I'll show you another we can do, and you can press and look right here. We have it, our rain coming, so we have it, some motions. Of course, we need to replay a little bit more with effect how it's worked, but generally you can see how it's already from still image. Very easy to create this overlay, add motions. Now we have it, effect, look like it's animated image. And if you do any other videos, like you want to do relaxation videos, your cyberpunk videos you want to bring any animations to your still images with the overlay techniques it's one of the easiest to do and now the best of all if you're going to the um boris fx download it for free you can do as many as you want it and with huge collections of course if you have more questions how to use i will make videos or you can go also to the particle illusion to the documentations and right here they have it very in detail informations how to work with these applications as well but overall i will recommend you download it just even for fun because just look on some of this they incredible incredible um some particles and you can find anything from rain to natural you know you can also pre-animate to create the points of ex where they're generating from um, I think you have to also follow like wand, magic wand. Oh, there you go. Look on this explosions. It's a great. I mean, you can put it even inside whatever you do, your animations, images, follow leaves. I think they do have it like in the trees, you know, when you can create a leaves falling down. Um, what I did also like supernova, if you create explosions. I mean, beautiful, beautiful. Remember, you can slow down animations here because you have it all of this um, effect. You can modify a lot of stuff, lot, uh, many options. Oh, look on this amount of explosions. It just, you can create almost any type of explosions. But I think what I was looking in, it's a rain. Oh, we have it some even screens. That is kind of very nice because, yeah, even overlay screens, you can create it with animations. Uh, look how huge collections of these emitters it's literally any type and emitters but how i said before you need to uh, register your emails for full full of these emitters which is okay you know yeah right here. oh look on the snowflakes look how many of them they're just falling down snowflakes side rains the big flakes amazing well i hope you find this kind of interesting resource 
um, how say I'll create more tutorials, go in details about some uh, how to twin, how to adjust with those emitters, how you can put together a little bit more complex with them. Um, I did some time this video long, 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 long time ago about the older versions, which is about similar, but uh, this is one list uh, kind of renewed. And if you're interested to see those videos, please subscribe to the channel, click this notification button so you'll know when new videos is released about this. If you like videos, give a thumbs up um, and create your own art and hopefully have a fun time to doing this. Thank you again and have a great day.